this is your mom. Why you still haven't done your homework? Well, mom, I was trying to, but... Ugh. Sam, what's happened to your arms? I don't know, mom. Hold on, let me, let me try to grab them back, so I can explain to you why I still haven't done my homework. Sam, breakfast is ready. Oh, breakfast, yay. I really want to eat right now. I hope it's my favorite pancake. Sam, your arms fell down again. I see, mom, you don't have to tell me that. Sam, I bought something special for you. Oh, special. I really like presents. Tell me, what is that, mom? I bought you a sweater. And now Sam joins the army. Yes, sir, I will do whatever uh, my country requires me to. What's up, boys and girls? It's been a while since I've played Besiege. A lot of people ask me to play this game again, so here we are. But the problem is I can't play this game for like a year or more. I don't think I even remember how to play Besiege anymore. Uh, level editor... Uh, how, how, how did I build stuff here? This old lady loves DIY. Very striking when you sit as close to an orangutan as this. Please don't tell me this is what I think it is. <laughs> Guys, imagine how how do you even create this? Imagine like your teacher gave you an assignment and she said, uh, "Kids, you have to build something really, really special and unique." So she asks, "Tommy, what did you build?" I've created James because I believe James is the most useful engine out there, and he turned out so good. Wow, good job! What about you, Billy? I grew up with Percy, he's my favorite engine, so I spent the entire week making this Percy model. It looks so good, right? Yes, it does. Alright, then finally, Sam, tell us, what did you create? Birdman. Birdman. What are you looking at, everyone? Do you wanna fight me? Alright, let's fight then! I don't remember ever downloading these, but what's that angry Thomas? What in the name of the god is this? Wait, does he even walk? Okay, at least this thing is moving. You know what it reminds me of, guys? Have, has any one of you seen the uh, Stranger Things? So basically, uh, there's this creature called uh, Mind Flare. <laughs> I think this thing looks exactly like him. Uh, usually Shift Key does something. <laughs> What is he doing? It, he's like, oh, uh, hey, Angry Thomas, do you want some pizza? Yes. Do you want to play some besiege with me? Of course. Uh, I forgot to ask you, what's your name? Yes. All right, guys, my mission today is to destroy this house. Hey, is anybody there I would like to play today? Is anybody there? Is anybody home? Angry Thomas would like to play. Alright, I'm going to slowly and carefully open this door now. Who's there? <laughs> this is not slow and careful. Ugh. Okay, so this thing is pretty powerful, guys. We destroyed the house like it's nothing. Let me greet my Spanish cousin, the Angry La, la Angry Tomasos. Hello, cousin. Hola prima, te ves tan estúpida. I have no idea what you just said. Uh, I just want to know how are you doing today? ¿Puedes dejar de repetir todo lo que hago? I don't think this is leading anywhere. Let's see whoever uh, will win in this amazing battle. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to spam Oh! Somehow this Spanish cousin came up victorious today. <laughs> Okay, okay, he actually grabbed McQueen using his... Oh my god, he's obliterating McQueen! This is, this is unacceptable. Guys, so, you see what happened? He basically grabs McQueen. Alright, McQueen is kinda alive and I think he stole a part of uh, Thomas's tentacle. Oh my goodness, it's a love kit. Shut up! Oops. 
Holy cow, that's the Hulkbuster from Iron Man, from, I mean, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? This is the one that Iron Man built specifically to fight Hulk, if I'm correct, in Avengers Age of Ultron. Whoa, actually a bunch of details here, we've got some thrusters, and on the back side, yep, more thrusters on the back. Let's see what this fella can actually... Oh, my PP fell down. Let's see what this fella can do. Just kidding. Actually... Okay, that's not the thruster I wanted. Why did it fell down like that? Okay, some sort of a jetpack. No, built-in jetpacks inside my arms. Oh, we're actually flying. Oh, check this out. So the legs are attached using the springs. Do you see it? Oh, I just lost my leg and I'm flying. Oh, did you see that, guys? I've actually picked my leg uh, on my own. That's actually exactly what happened in the movie, if you remember, with the whole Iron Man remote control suit system where he could summon, like, a leg or an arm to fly to him, like, towards him using... Rem okay, something went horribly wrong. We are approaching the ground now and I'm about to crash and that's it from the Hulk Buster. So, unfortunately guys, I wasn't able to find the Hulk model in Besiege uh, database. Shocking, right? Considering how popular Hulk is. But I did find this rocket thing and according to description it's supposed to shoot this entire rocket. Time to prepare for battle. Why is he shaking in the first person camera? Alright, pressing shift first. Well, it's... yeah, hold on, control. Oh, it, it, uh, uh, I guess let's pretend it's flying, guys. Is that how it was supposed to go? All right, let me fight it. <laughs> CU11, does anyone know where this is from? Maybe it's like some anime or cartoon. Oh, it's a cute female robot and she moves so smoothly. Well, I assume it's female because this thing looks like it's her hair or maybe it's a helmet. Hold on, guys, I've got a perfect body for her. It's a Thomas robot. Hello, would you like to play with... Oh, I'm sorry, I just kicked you in the face. Oh! Where am I going, guys? Hold on, what's going on? Seriously, why is it moving so weird? Oh, so you see, all of them are like, I'm turning to the left and the female bot is doing the same. Thomas Big P? Okay, it's another Transformer, but don't get confused, guys. This isn't the legendary Thomas Transformer we all know. This one has way more compact body and uh, pretty much a bigger face too. And I think a different moveset. <laughs> yep, he moves differently. Thomas found himself in the Desert Kingdom. Hello, uh... Hello there guys, I'm here to help you defend the castle, why is everybody attacking me by the way, I see guys shooting arrows at me, I'm only carrying the, rest in pepperoni, I'm only carrying the goodies for you, uh, such as uh, cookies, uh, toilet paper and of course the atomic weapons, guys please let me inside, can you open the gate? Stop shooting at me, if you won't let me inside I'm going to enter myself, Ugh! Yeah, I don't think Thomas is breaking. What? What? What is that noise? Some sort of like a trumpet. What happened to Thomas? Okay, guys, Thomas decided to take the initiative and enter the building himself. Um, this isn't really the polite way to enter the house of somebody, but I mean, I'm the FedEx delivery. Guys, so this is pretty common for them. <laughs> okay, guys, round two. This time I'm going to enter through the main gate politely. <laughs> Wait, they are attacking me. Why are you still attacking me, guys? I wanted to help you. Serious. Okay, this is the worst army ever. Are you drunk? Why are you celeb? Okay, guys, I, I understood. But what they don't know is that I'm still alive. <laughs> But for some reason I can only drive backwards. All right, see ya. What's that? Diarrhea? I'm sorry, diorama. Oh, it's like some sort of a Japanese district. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Let's try this body right here. So RC is supposed to be a transformer, but I'm not sure how to. How do you actually transform here? Uh, maybe I press T. Nope, not T. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you? Do you want to pee or something? Stop, please, stop right now. Let, let's strike you. Okay, I don't... Oh, wait, I'm actually transformed, sort of, but something... Something fell off. <laughs> yeah, the Q button is the transformation button. I've became a... Bu so, the Q button, let me move a little bit further so I can transform properly. Let's press Q now. 
Okay, so yeah. Uh, I've lost something I don't think it's really important. So I am a bike now, guys. And actually a pretty cool looking one. Whoa, when I can ride pretty fast too. Awesome. I love Transformers. Now let's transform back. Um, it seems like something is missing. Oh, it's just my head. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, transforming back to bike is a is a problem. I've got another robot, but this one doesn't transform. But look guys, I found a cute little train. And the best part about this train is that it's made out of all the default blocks in uh, Besiege, I believe. Oh, it's really cute and pretty fast too. The Desert Kingdom. Oh wow, it's a well-guarded fortress with a bunch of knights protecting it. I know exactly who to pick now. I'm a lonely knight, which returned from the battle. Why do I have some sort of like jet skis? Anyway, guys, why is nobody celebrating me returning back home to my castle? Why? Why do you keep shooting at me? Okay, my jet skis are, <laughs> are a little bit unstable. Stay away from me, I'm going to cut every single one of you. Don't touch me. Please, guys, let me just pass to the gates. I want to take a shower after a really hard and tough battle. These guys still keep shooting at me. Stay away from me. Stay away from my jet ski. Oh my god, I just lost an arm and a head. I think I've been defeated. All right, guys, so you want to play? Let's play. <laughs> Oh, uh, what happened to my leg, by the way? Why does this thing keep flying up? Alright guys, let's get serious now. <laughs> you weren't expecting this. Neither was I. I have no idea what it does, but let's just uh, roll forward and hopefully we will break my back. <laughs> They're so happy I blew up myself. Alright, let's engage the weapon system. I believe I got a really powerful tentacles which should uh, prove useful here. I, I am about to crash the game. Well, at least I shot a missile. Speaking of missiles, why do I keep shooting them upwards? Do you see? What's the use of this useless weapon? Engage. <laughs> I only got my arm left. Alright guys, uh, see you later I guess. I showed this girl multiple times, it's time to test her. Awi Kotonoha. She looks really beautiful, can't wait to see her. Let's play... Wow, you look really different without makeup, let me tell you that. Alright, she loaded, but it appears to be just a prop. Eh, he's just standing still. Finally, a decent train map where train is actually moving forward, not derailing. And not derailing. That derailing. <laughs> oh wow, is this some sort of like obelisk? Wow! It turned out into a cube and now this fidget spinner. Is it like a trap or a weapon of mass destruction? Thomas, let's investigate it. Hello, unknown life force. Uh, would you like to be friends with me? Goodbye, unknown life force. Can somebody explain to me what this... This... Let's try the brand new Thomas thing. This one I haven't seen before. Okay, I'm going to slowly... Oh my goodness! I'm going to slowly drive to this gentleman. Hello, mister. Would you like me to uh, rub your feet, I guess? Oh. <laughs> what did they explode? Oh my god. Ah, he started crying. Oh my god. I, this is the first time I see an engine with the, some sort of a water built-in function. And it keeps exploding for no reason. Yep, uh, we are done here. Surveillance system activated. Deactivated. Okay, I believe this map has an actual legit uh, train moving. Yep. All right. No target acquired. Everything is fine. Oh, and just like that. Why in every single game, GTA, Brick Rigs and stuff like that, why are there always an unstoppable train and you can't do anything to it? This one you guys are familiar with? Uh, Thomas the Nuclear Bomb. What a lovely day. Today I don't have to explode anyone. Ah, except for myself. Okay, this freight train seriously looks like the one from the Brick Rigs and GTA. And it has over 800 blocks. It doesn't move, so I'm just going to leave it on the railway. Oh, obliterate. I wonder what it would look like if I actually had the god mode for the train activated. It would probably just like fall from the tracks. Oh, there's nothing left. Thomas, the delivery guy returns uh, this time. Oh, why do you keep exploding like that? Okay, let's see what happens now. Yep, well, what else did we expect, guys? There's always the same outcome. Hmm, <laughs> is this a worm or a snake? Well, Thomas, I'm gonna tell you that it's a really good question. I have no idea what is this creature. It looks like, like a mix of a snake and a dragon. All right, let's go. Oh, so it actually turns like... Oh, I see. It's like 
You know all these Japanese dragons uh, which are like uh, representing this symbol of a flying dragon? So this one moves kind of similar uh, in a spiral sort of and <laughs> it grabbed Thomas, uh, Thomas leg. I don't think Thomas is escaping this. What's funny is that this is exactly like the same behavior you would see, you know, like snakes, how snakes kill their victims. A uh, python for example, it would uh, turn around your victim and then uh, it would like make it unable for it to move until it dies uh, out of the lack of oxygen or uh, it can like insert the poison into your body and that's pretty much game over and it appears that Thomas is on his oh actually for some reason Thomas decided to become a space astronaut and he's flying now oh he tried to kick the snake but it backfired Thomas falls down and it appears to be game over for our body yep the flying snake sort of slash dragon thing killed him uh, does it have a first person camera? Yep, it does. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's been for four years since I've played BCH and I've never realized there's like a first person camera. Alright, my victim is dead. Time to feast on his body. And working as a group, they can together intimidate many of the most dangerous animals here. Even a predator that can kill them, such as a cobra. They stay just out of striking distance. And eventually the Cobra feels outnumbered. What are you looking at? 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 And that's how our greatest conflict has been born in BCH. Time to test out our Thomas uh, monster against this fella. I'm not sure where this robot is from, but apparently Thomas actually shot a bunch of arrows and it was quite enough for uh, basically to knock the robot of the skyscraper. This is amazing. Thomas didn't even move. It's time to ask the winner of this battle. Thomas, tell us something. What are you looking at? The ruined city. Wow, what's that? The apocalypse. It appears that city is completely in ruins, guys. It's destroyed and it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Mm, what's that noise? Oh no, guys, that's the cause of the destruction. That fella is the one who destroyed the entire city and he has a giant tail. I believe if you press Q, yep, this thing Thing opens it's some sort of like a weapon system and if you hold shift or control it appears to be charging but it's not really shooting so it's like more like a prop there's only one guy who can stop her why did Thomas spawn inside the Godzilla I was expecting an epic battle not Godzilla giving a birth to a transformer I'm gonna place Thomas on the road here and turn around Godzilla like Why is Thomas inside the Godzilla again? Why do they keep spawning together? Alright guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Thomas the legend is approaching the Godzilla. We're using the first person camera. We're about to experience mm, arguably the greatest battle in Besiege history. There's only one person who can stop this creature. There, hold on, let me change the camera angle for a more cinematic look. Oh yeah, this actually looks pretty good this looks like a movie okay so using the shift i'm pulling my arms pushing them inside godzilla's body and if you i hold control thomas will try to try to snap your in house oh yes we actually managed to destroy godzilla's upper body with the entire uh, weapon system gun now so all that's left is godzilla's belly and a left arm and two legs and Thomas appears to continue his crushing process but Godzilla is still fighting back now he shows us that he spent some time working as a circus employee Thomas turns around I'll try to grab the leg of Godzilla and try to try to snap her yes and that's that's how you do it guys Thomas the legend and the first person camera shows us that there's no traces of Godzilla left and this is our winner Thomas uh, what's that Thomas please tell me this is some sort of a fire extinguisher system and you're not actually peeing well uh, yeah 
Oh my god, Thomas, is that how you celebrate the victory pink all over the city? The Jello Runner. Oh, some sort of a pit, it's probably a trap. Let's use yet another new creation, Thomas with cannon. <laughs> he has a moustache, this is Thomas from Pizzeria. Okay, I'm going to put this guy inside the pit and see what happens. And now, oh, oh, so it's like a liquid made out of blocks. Hold on, anyone else? Thomas Hour is also new, but yep, it's one of those with creations which are just floating in the air. Hmm, how about uh, Thomas Walker? Next, please. This one is called just Thomas, and it looks pretty intriguing. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Well, <laughs> at least it can ride, guys. Hold on, let me let me turn around. I want to enter the pit. So yeah, what they did here is pretty smart. This is like a liquid made out of blocks. And you see, it's not breaking or tearing apart. It's actually pretty creative. Uh. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Thomas is enjoying the green goo. Oh sweet, a BMG map. This reminds me that a lot of people wanted me to play BMG for years. Maybe I should give it a... Not sure what happened with that tree. Maybe I should give it a try actually anytime soon. Let's try my Thomas car. <laughs> Okay, I've steered. I've steered my way out. So this is pretty much like a car testing facility. Let's enter this tube, guys. Uh, can I still move? I guess not. <laughs> it doesn't look... Uh, something appears to be lost. Who would name their engine sick as freak uh, Thomas? Oh, okay, now I see. This name makes perfect sense. Uh, why do I move like I haven't pooped in like three months and nobody knows about it and only me? We're going to destroy this forest. Oh my god, guys, I'm so dumb. I ruined my Thomas car and it's on fire now too. But look how human her hand is. The skill with which she picks things up. Usually on cars, shift is a boost. See? <laughs> a really good looking train in Besiege. I believe this one may have been made out of the default parts. How strong it is though? Nope, I can't even make it up that hill. So it's kinda beautiful, but also kinda useless. <laughs> this thing on the other hand, uh, I think it's quite powerful. Yep, we can easily climb the mountains and roads and stuff with it. I'm not sure what's powering it, like, like, like how is it possible due to wheel size or there's like super powerful engine, but... What's that? This doesn't look like a trap at all. Let me just park myself here. <laughs> Can I still move? Yep, as usual, wheels are control. Uh. Lego Man is about to buy a new car, but he's not sure which one. No, garbage. Mm, no, no way. Mm, nope. Mm. Nope. No thanks. Mm, way no. Nope. Nope. Next. Nope. Garbage. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm not hungry. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, but this, there's some steering problems. Such a beautiful place. I wonder if there's any fish around here. No fish, only super dangerous mechanical whales slash sharks that appear to be completely destructive and for some reason they're also flying. Actually pretty cool. I'm gonna destroy this village. <laughs> So I just tweeted Elon Musk and he allowed me to use one of his SpaceX rockets. SpaceX Starship and it... Yeah, well... With that engineering, we're not going to Mars anytime soon, Elon. Hey, at least the mini wings are moving. I'm trying to launch the rocket, but instead I'm turning off and on the TV on this map. Oh, it's actually a Mario game. Played on uh, Dendy. Elon failed us, so we're using the Falcon instead. Now, Falcon appears to be way more smaller and compact. Oh, Falcon actually works fine. See, guys, that's how you make... Uh, make proper rockets. I wonder how... Well, yeah, we're definitely not going to space, but at least we flew a little bit. Orbital laser uh, targeting system. Okay, that these are... Oh, check this out. There's there's some solar panels here. Alright, let's see if this one actually works. Oh, it does. 
and the camera change uh, angle changed to cinematic I didn't do that so there is some hope in humanity after all guys some yep well oh wait 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 it exploded on purpose do you see what it did it basically left a bunch of satellites on orbit so that was meant to happen and now the satellites are patrolling the skies okay that that makes sense blaze for a second i thought that's uh, about my blocks world uh, character but nope it's some weird minecraft character uh, which appears to be on flames uh, oh so it's a weapon after all <laughs> it's shooting fireballs notre dame de paris oh my god this place is so beautiful can i go inside yep this probably took some time to build this place is so beautiful it makes your head explode Quite literally. We have a visitor, the Thomas, and this Thomas is called the Giant Thomas. And the reason he's called Giant, guys, check this out. Huge. He's carrying some turrets and weapons and planes and stuff. Guys, I would like you to meet Wall. Hello, everyone. I'm Wall. Notre Dame looks especially beautiful today, said Megatron when he was about to shoot it, but uh, he changed his mind. And I think Megatron it will transform now, but I'm not sure which version of Megatron it is, so I'm not sure who's he transforming into apparently a jet plane yep that's right a broken jet plane to be more precise okay Notre Dame is so beautiful I don't feel like destroying it today guys I'm sorry just kidding I'm going to drop a giant ship at top of it and see what happens oh it appears that the only thing that got damaged is my my ship instead of the Notre Dame and I actually like how the ship broke like Titanic one part here and one part here some sort of a space station Thomas is about to explore it. Sam, what is that beneath me? Oh, it's a space station. I've never been to space before. Let me try to, to, to take a proper pose so Sam can take a photo of me in space. <sighs> Hold on. I'm going to... Oh, no, no, Sam, don't worry. I'm not falling. I'm actually grabbing this part here. All right, this feels, uh, this feels comfortable. You can take a photo now. Percy? What is it? It looks like... I forgot to take my pills today. Yeah, I can see that. Alrighty, boys and girls, that would be it for today. Besiege will always have a special place in my heart. It's one of the first games I've played on my channel, and it's pretty unique, to be honest. There's also a built-in multiplayer option, so maybe someday I shall try to play with other players. For now, we're going to give it some time until people will maybe create more Thomases and stuff there, but I will definitely come back uh, to this game, guys. Uh, stay safe, uh, stay happy, do whatever makes you feel good guys and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more stuff from me in near future take care guys sam is out bye bye